This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-250 crew cab short bed. It's got 127,840 miles on it. It is a 6.0 turbo diesel, 4x4. Um, Lariat Amarillo edition. Very rare truck. Um, it uh, was a farmer's insurance theft recovery. We purchased directly from uh, them in Redding, California. It is on a salvage title due to theft. Obviously not wrecked, never wrecked. Um, but the insurance companies do not want to be uh, sued by whoever we sell it to. Obviously, Farmers has more than Crosscut. So if they sold it on a clear title and we sold it to you and you died in it, they would go for the money. And they'd say, why did you sell it on a clear title? That implies warranty, blah, blah, blah. And then Farmers would get crushed. So they put them on salvage titles to divorce the vehicle. It has nothing to do with the vehicle. Um, I'll tell you how we restore the titles so that you can get uh, insurance and plates once we go on our drive. Anyway, for now, I'm gonna walk around and tell you about it. First of all, it has four brand new shocks we installed and it had an AC service. That was all that was wrong with it mechanically and a detail. Um, it had these bushwhackers, painted bushwhackers on them. Um, the one, the only thing that's wrong with this truck cosmetically is right here. I think they tried to hide it with bushwhackers because the bushwhackers are what why they why you touch this up right here because those lines on it. But they tried to cover it up some of this. So you got this dent right here that they tried to cover up with them. And you could tell that one of these, uh, this is probably the broken one. I believe it is the broken one because I will show you the bushwhackers over here. Those three are fine. This one, however, has a cut in it and they patched it. So, I mean, they, these things do fit on there fine, but if you want them, I'll throw them in the back of the truck when you buy it and you can deal with it yourself. But uh, I think it looks better without them. You know, we had to touch up the rub marts where the rubber rubs up against them on the, just a couple places like in here missed a spot right here but uh it's a badass looking truck uh there's a couple people who saw it at the uh shop that we send our vehicles to getting the new shocks and they're all over it wondering what's going to happen it's an aftermarket hood obviously and when they do that they get a little bit of clear coat peeling um but yeah they're very interested in the price and what it's what's it, what is it going to be and blah 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 i don't even know what it's going to be my brother does that so we'll see We'll see. I know we had to pay a fortune for this truck, and I'm really glad we did. It's got really expensive um, power steps here that work great. In a second, I'll start it up, open the hood. Thing was very well taken care of. I'm sure the day it was stolen, he was crying. This is a lot of a lot of truck to lose. See how the, the touch up right here? Just go to the photo gallery and just look right where those would be. Now you could also get black ones would be, be kind of cool. Black bushwhackers, that would kind of be neat. Um, back of the truck, let's see if I can get this open with one hand. Let's see. Ah, dang it. I think I need both hands to do this. No, I don't, there you go. You have a, uh, looks like a gravity fed uh, backup diesel tank. Got a bed mat too, that's kind of cool. I like how the camper shell matches. That's kind of rare. And a nice spare, hitches all there. I gotta kind of hurry up with this video, I'm going too slow. I got 17 minutes and 38 seconds, is what YouTube gives us. All right, so it's locked. Now it's unlocked. There's your running boards. Let me get this fired up so I can get some AC. It's nice and muggy. 127,867 miles on it. There you go. This is the first start today, so it's ice cold. So you just gotta see a cold start. Um, let's see. Kelly Blue Book. I did this. 722 i did it when we bought it. it took us forever to get a shipper to pick this thing up by the way um they don't have a category for amarillo because they're so rare so i just had to call it a lariat with 127,000 miles 4x460 um 
typical listing price 22 with a range of 18.9 to 23. Um, that's for Lariat though, so you gotta be a little creative here. Here's the uh, repair order. There's the uh, VIN, time we get it. AC service, shocks, 750 bucks. Um, there's the invoice for the shocks. What else is in here? Oh, we also had to put a clamp on the air filter. Uh, the clamp was missing. Let's see, what else? Here's the auto check. All this stuff you can see in the ad too and click on it, but people like me to walk them through it. Uh, salvage due to theft. Right there, salvage is theft. I'll show you how that ties in. No accidents, no damage. Um, there's your theft record. No odometer rollbacks. This is so it's in Redding, California, which is where I bought it. Lived in Redding. Bah, 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 bah. Shasta Lake, uh, theft reported. 330 recovered 45. Who knows? Maybe the car thieves put that the ding on ding in it on that uh, little side of the truck there. I'll bet they did. This truck is too nice to for the owner of it, the original owner to mess it up. All right, let's go under the hood here. All right, we got an original fender, so because you got the Ford stamp here. Ford stamp there, aftermarket air box, now clamped on correctly, cat sticker where it belongs, Ford stamp here, Ford stamp here, and this is an aftermarket hood so it won't have a Ford stamp. And I'm going to try to reach this oil cap, standing on the tire, that's beautiful right? Everyone knows what that means, no blow by. Great. All right, got a little door ding here I see and a little door ding here. Here's the running board, window, door locks, okay. Heated seat, on and off. Seat forward, seat back, seat up, seat down, back tilt up and down. Front tilt up and down. You got your Amarillo seats. These are in great shape. These interiors are a fortune, man. You could take this interior out and sell it for a ton. <laughs> I've tried to buy them before. I needed them because they've been stolen from theft recoveries I bought. No chance. In great shape. Boom. Headliner looks good. You got a fort. Rubber mats here. Nice truck. Better be because I sure had to pay for it. Get on the roof here. Look down on it. All right. This year. Well, it's great up here. All right. Let's see. Not that anyone's ever going to be able to see the roof when, it's, when the people are down here. There's a window, 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 window. Let's see, door locks. Okay. Let's see, what else we got? Mirrors. Out, in, down, up, other side. Out, in, up, down. Heated seat, on, off. Seat forward, seat back, seat up. I'm gonna have to go way up here. Tilt down in the back, tilt up in the back. Tilt up in the front, tilt down in the front. Adjustable pedals up and down. Tilt wheel, boom, boom, boom. Gotta get some AC, I'm sweating. That pig here. <clears throat> nice. Nice and humid in Tucson today. Middle of June through the end of August. That's when it's brutal. Otherwise, we're the best. All right. So you got your Amarillo edition here. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Manuals, AC controls, fan up and down. Temperature up and down. Now we'll go here. Steering controls, fan up and down. Temperature.
furniture up and down. Trailer stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see, radio. Steering controls volume. Change the station. It was intentionally just manually. Yeah. Perfect. All right, that all works. I hate rear sliding windows. Those things always break. That one moves okay, but leave it closed, because man, that is one of my pet peeves, those stupid things. Um, tow, on and off. Let's see, what else? We have cruise control here. You gotta be moving to do that in a Ford. Um, neutral, go to neutral, go to Ford low. Neutral. Now we go to four high. Now we're in four high. Boom. Drive. And reverse. This thing's got some uh, life left in the motor. All right. Now we're going to go back to two wheel drive and go for a ride. All right. Let's see. This thing's easy to drive too for such a big truck. Obviously, it steers differently because it's got the wide track tires on it, but I drove it across town and it was really easy to drive. Um, before I go, let's do a systems check. Engine temp okay, transmission temp okay, oil pressure okay, brake fluid level okay, all doors closed, air filter okay, nine, 199 to empty, systems check complete. Okay? Now I gotta wait for some traffic here. Got poured last night. It's been pouring every night, like around midnight here. And so we don't get to enjoy the rain because we're asleep and then we wake up and it's a swamp. Lovely. Anyhow, all right. If you come to Tucson to drive at home, obviously you need plates insurance. Without them, you can't drive anywhere. So we have to take it to the cops to get what's done uh, called a level three inspection. Once we have a level three inspection, we can uh, get a restored salvage title and issue plates and you can get insurance. So if you're gonna drive at home, that's $200 for us to do it before you get here, okay? Um, mandatory. Uh, then we have a $250 tax, uh, the doc fee, and we have taxes. Taxes are your state tax rate, could be zero, could be 10, whatever your state is, plus our city tax of 2.7. So, if you come here to drive at home, you will pay your state tax, plus our city of 2.7%, a $250 doc fee, and 200 to restore the title, okay? If you pay by wire and ship this truck out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, no doc fee, nothing. Um, once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you so you'll be able to see everything online immediately. Um, now, if you want us to have the title restored, uh, let us know at the time of sale and we'll, uh, we'll add $200 to it and before it ships out, it will be the, the title will be restored, okay? Um, if you need help with shipping, let me know early in the transaction. <laughs> I'd be happy to do it for you. We could roll the price of the shipping into the price of the truck and uh, uh, not a problem, okay? I will get it done. And you're welcome to do it yourself, um, but I'm pretty good at it, all right? Obviously, the title will be in your mailbox before the truck shows up by your shipper. Once the truck does show up, um, You'll just take the title in the truck and go get plates. It's simple. Um, what else? La, 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 la. Uh, it's a big truck, too, so don't lie to people. <laughs> when you tell them it's got at least a set. We didn't do the lift, obviously, the previous owner did. It's got at least a six-inch lift. Uh, on, I, I'm guessing, I think they're 33s, maybe 35s. So I should have looked at that when we were doing the video. In fact, if I have enough time at the end, I'll get out and I'll look at the tire size. Um, I think it's probably 35 now that I think about it. Um, but shippers won't come and pick it up. If they see this thing and you didn't tell them it's lifted, they will not pick it up, all right? So you gotta be really honest, send them pictures the whole bit if you're gonna do the shipping yourself. Last part of every video, I say this every single time on every single vehicle we've ever sold. We don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have a lounge to hang out in and an attendant serving scones and lattes. One of these dealerships, which we're about a mile away from now, new car dealerships, has a game room and the whole bit. All that stuff has to get paid for, okay? And you do the paying, okay? They also know at the auto mall that if they sold you this truck, this truck would cost a 
fortune more than than you'd pay us okay a lot more because of that if something breaks you're gonna be pissed you're gonna say I want my freaking truck to be perfect because I paid for a perfect truck a fortune and they agree so when they make a deal they actually have five to seven hundred dollars set aside um, for future repairs so when you come in they can just smile and go sure we'll do it you know now if that goes beyond five or seven hundred dollars this is what they do they tell you that they can't fix it they'll give you your money back and they'll sell it to somebody else and they won't fix it <laughs> that's what happens we don't do that uh, what we do is give you all the same money up front all the information that we have about the truck everything that we've done to the truck um, even these bushwhackers are on the ground right there let us know if you want them we'll throw them in the bed and you can have them I mean you know that that's how we roll uh, but you have to realize there's only one thing you are responsible for, and that's being the owner of your truck the day you become the owner of your truck, which means you're fixing your truck with your money, okay? Um, if that doesn't work for you, don't buy anything from us at all, except maybe this Tacoma. It has about 800 miles of factory powertrain warranty. <laughs> so, you know, not that Tacoma's gonna break, but you know, that that's the only vehicle we have that has any factory warranty on it at all. And you know that might help you a little bit but uh, we're not writing checks because we can't because we've given you the money up front now if you want to add twenty five hundred dollars to our negotiated price sure we'll fix it you know that's all we're doing is giving you the, the savings up front um, other oh you know what I forgot to do this it's got a moonroof let's do that make sure we got a moonroof that functions because nothing worse than that I just dealt with one of these and they're a nightmare when they break boom perfect Okay, I think that that's about it. Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot. We're going to get out of here and look at the tires, huh? I'm almost out of time. Uh, I like those steps. Oh, what do we got? Yeah, 325, 60, 20s. Uh, ba, 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 ba. So 325 is basically a 35. A 315 is a 33. So you do have 35s. Uh, my guy, my shop said a six inch lift. It looks more like an eight inch lift to me. Just guessing. But uh, anyway, that's a nice truck. Thank you for your time.